Hello friends and welcome to a Christmas reading vlog. I realized I didn't do an intro to this vlog so here I am now uh, at the end. I end up reading three books in this vlog. Wait, I might read more than three. Uh, I don't know how many I read, <laughs> but I ended up reading Small Horrors by Darcy Coates, short story collection, and the Victorian Christmas Ghost Stories, and then a mystery, uh, Scorched Grace. Uh, and in this vlog too, it's mostly done on my phone, so heads up. Um, it can be a bit jarring at times, um, you know, a little creepy for Christmas. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Now go back to past ghost Katrina. <laughs> popping in here very quickly uh, because um, I'm not sure what this vlog is going to be. I think it's going to be a very raw, raw, oh gosh, a cozy Christmas vlog. Yes, uh, that's what we'll say instead of the other word. Uh, but anyways, the books I definitely want to finish in this vlog, Victorian Ghost Stories. I'm just holding my phone right now, so it's probably really hard to see. Um, this is taking me forever to get through and I just dropped it on the floor. Yeah, this is taking me forever to get through um, because they're Victorian <laughs> ghost stories. They're kind of long, some of them. Um, some I have really liked uh, and I do like the bit of context there is like before the story. I think it adds to the story. Uh, so yeah, I'm enjoying it, but it's taking me a minute uh, to get through. And then another short story collection, um, Small Horrors by Darcy Coates. This is fun. Very short, short stories, like two minute stories. And I've been listening to that one on Everand. This week I did finish What Moves the Dead by T. King Fisher. This comes out in the beginning of February. Uh, and I had an arc and I'm so happy I finished it. Uh, I loved it. There's something very cozy about both of these books to me. Um, I did like the uh, What Moves the Dead a little more than this one. This one is more about dreams and it talks about that painting, that gothic painting with like the demon on the person's chest like sleep paralysis and stuff which I found interesting but I, de I definitely like the what moves the dead more I don't know why um I did like this one it ended up feeling kind of like a Darcy Coates story which I did enjoy and it was great to be back with Alex and uh, what is his name? Boris, Miss Potts, Miss Potters, and like those characters are so great. T. King Fisher does characters like so freaking well. So I did enjoy it, and I think I'm giving it four stars. Uh, and yeah, today is the solstice. As you can see, I'm next to my window. I'm trying to get some sun. Give me all the sun, and I'm being my best witchy self and doing a summer pot um so I'm about to go do that now and light some candles I think we're watching Krampus tonight and I'm so excited uh that is my favorite horror uh movie or horror <laughs> that's my favorite horror movie that's my favorite Christmas horror movie or just Christmas movie in general I guess and I think I'm gonna bake some stuff and I'm gonna make a bean stew my favorite bean stew this harissa um, bean stew. It's super good. Uh, and yeah, those are my plans. And Beans just jumped up in his window. He was like, oh, how dare you be over here in my area?
Okay, so it is the day before Christmas Eve and I am just trying to get a lot of stuff done today before I meet some friends for like Christmas dinner, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to be really festive today, as you can tell. Uh, and I did finish Small Horrors, and I had a blast with this, actually. I thought the short stories were going to actually, like, kind of bother me, um, but no, 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 no. It was a ton of fun. Um, I feel like it reads really fast because the stories are so short. There is a story in this that was my favorite. It is a wax museum story. Not a any doll stories though which i was like dang i could use a doll story you know that would be great um but overall i really liked it there's a couple in here so the wax museum one and there's a couple other ones that kind of got to me because i was working alone and listening to it and i was like oh my gosh i'm scared um but yeah this got me through making a whole scarf so <laughs> that was great you guys probably have seen me making a lot of scarves um i only have I think two more to make but um, I'm not gonna be able to do it before Christmas and I don't think I'm seeing these people before Christmas so it doesn't really matter uh, so yeah I had a lot of fun with this one and uh, I'm so excited to read more um, another Darcy Coates collection of short stories this short story collection though <laughs> having such a hard time getting through uh, I read one more story and then like a chapter of another story like ew why do you have chapters in your short story uh but the last story i read was the haunted rock and it was these two sailors telling a ghost story which is fine but at the end it got kind of religiously which is weird because i feel like there'd be more of those stories in here that got religiously um since they are from the 1800s but yeah it's taking me forever i'm maybe because i'm reading it physically but also I read it before bed and then I'm like, okay, I'm asleep because I'm reading literally like people talk like Victorian tiny talk. So, uh, that's probably a big, uh, snoozer for, <laughs> for me apparently. Um, but yeah. I don't have anything else really planned. We watched Krampus last night and we watched a ghost story, which is actually like one of my favorite winter horror movies. And I like the book too. The book is okay. I have a tough time recommending that book because it is so long and so weird. But um, the movie is so good, great. I, even Alex, I think, really likes it because there's all these horrible effects in it that are just like, oh my god, why do they do that? Like there's one in the first like five minutes that is full nudity, full male nudity and like a horrible effect and it's like great. I'm like, yes, it's so, so good. Um, yeah, Alma in that is one of the most terrifying characters. Uh, and I love, she's, her face is always veiled. It's a very gothic, cold, a uh, story, a uh, revenge story that I absolutely love. She's always laughing and her face is always obscured. Her hair is so long. Ugh, it's so great. I love it. Uh, anyways, that is for this check-in. As I said, I'm just going to be cleaning, getting stuff together. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be reading anything else. Uh, we shall see. Okay, so it is the day after Christmas. I definitely fell off the face of the earth for a couple of days. Um, but I did manage to finish two more books. I finally finished Victorian Christmas Ghost Stories. Uh, this was tough to get through, uh, but I did enjoy a couple of the stories. There is a creature feature story in this that I actually really liked. Um, and then the last story was one of my favorites because it was a doll story they say the best for last of course in this one there was a couple in here that had like more of a mystery aspect to it uh but i feel like it was just always the same thing happening in this right a ghost um and just people being victorian about it i don't know <laughs> like it was like 
whoa, you know, keep my eyes open here um, while reading it, but I would read this before bed, so that's probably why. Uh, I think I'm giving it three stars. I have a tough time with short story collections. Everybody knows that, especially if they're all from different authors and stuff. Uh, I, have, I have a tough time with it. Uh, but I did read a book that I wasn't planning on reading, and I read this mystery, uh, Scorched Grace, by Margaret uh, Dowahi. I've been seeing this on people's like best uh, of uh, post and stuff uh, for a mystery for 2023. And uh, Libby was available, the audio was available, and I picked this up uh, from my local library. Very short uh, little mystery here about a woman in a convent. She is about to take her vows. She's been there for a year and there are, there's arson, there's arson about, uh, that happens and somebody ends up murdered. So it's a bit of like a murder mystery aspect to this. Um, the main character we follow in this is a ex-punk rock star from New York and she got accepted into the sisterhood uh, in New Orleans so we get a lot of like those New Orleans vibes in it. Uh, it is so disturbing though and very dark. I was like oh my gosh I thought this is just a mystery book. It is but it's like a gritty um like a gritty dark mystery like when you're getting flashes of uh, our main character from like her past. It's so so dark and depressing um, and also stuff that ends up happening in that in the main storyline too. I was like oh my god like dang that was intense. Uh, so very very dark mystery. Uh, I think I'm giving it four stars. I really enjoyed it and I know there's a second book coming out soon and I'm really excited to pick that one up. Uh, anyways so I had a great Christmas with my family. It's very chaotic though uh usually and um i mean it was chaotic this year my parents have like 10 animals and it's just stuff is impossible sometimes there <laughs> uh but i was spoiled rotten i got a bunch of books i got my sister got me this stay spooky crew neck um and a little creepmas decoration like i got like a bunch of stuff um my brother though wins I feel like he uh, got me uh, something I didn't even know existed um as you can see it says talk to me on here whoa it is from a24 and it is the hand but it actually does something <laughs> If you know, you know, but yeah, I was very impressed. It is ceramic <clears throat> and I looked down at it and I immediately saw my name on it. My name is right here on the wrist, if you can see it. Um, but yeah, he pre-ordered it and I think his name is on here too. I saw, I spotted it. Um, yeah, his name is right here. I don't know if he put his name there though. I haven't talked to him about it because I just noticed it when I brought it home. I was like, oh my gosh, is that, is that Jake's name? Uh, but yeah, so excited. If you guys don't know, this is um, a horror movie that came out in 2023. It was my favorite horror movie that came out and it is a game that high schoolers play with an embalmed hand. They would hold onto the hand and say well for this game for my game you gather friends sit in a circle light the hand let it in and pass <laughs> I thought that was really funny but in the movie I believe you lay the candle and you say um talk to me and I let you in and they basically get possessed and they like get addicted to it um so this is a great little a nod to the metaphor in that movie so yeah I am obsessed um and hopefully I can get it into my background um somewhere here hopefully uh but yeah I was so so excited so I had to share it here and it will be in my background it was so funny my sister was like I don't want to touch it <laughs> but yeah I'm obsessed with hand stuff anyways I really like that imagery 
of like pomace tree and stuff. Uh, but anyways, that was my favorite gift I got uh, for Christmas. Let me know some of your favorite gifts you got for Christmas or if you did anything fun. And I hope you guys have a great holiday. Happy New Year. I'm working on my 24 and 24. It should be out soon. It's like kind of stressful. I don't know why. Uh, but be on the lookout for that one. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. He's licking it. <laughs> this is great. There's little Krampus over there. <laughs>